guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing something I've never done before and that is showing you a subscription box that I have subscribed to. For Christmas, my best friend and I, we always exchange gifts and one of her gifts to me was a subscription to Stitch Fix. So this is how it works. You pay $20 and then you fill out this whole survey. Like seriously, the survey that they asked me was so in depth and detail and I can see why it's clothing. Clothing is probably the hardest thing that other people can buy for you. But makeup, jewelry, stuff like that is easier, but clothes, not only do you have to have the right taste in clothing to buy for somebody, but you also have to have the sizing right. And that's where a lot of people have a really just hard time buying. I know that a lot of online shopping is really difficult for me to do sometimes just because you don't know what way things are gonna go. So for some of the stuff, like for Forever 21, some of that stuff, I feel like runs a lot smaller, but then when I go to H&M, which is kind of similar to Forever 21, everything is way bigger there, and I end up having to send stuff back from both stores. So, yeah, that's my whole rant there. But, um, yeah, I'm excited to show you. I did already open the box. I am horrible when it comes to surprises and stuff like that. I get so anxious around Christmas and my birthday. Just, like, I don't know what it is. It's like the, I just can't wait for it. I'm terrible. Not a patient person when it comes to like special things for me. It's so ridiculous. I did open it. Um, I'm definitely one of those person. I'd subscribe to Birchbox too and I will always look online before I get them most of the time. I was a lot worse about it when at the beginning but I'm not too bad now but just so, just so excited about it. Like Christmas and like my birthday my husband will be like it's just Christmas you know. Not a bit big of a deal. And I'm like, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. What am I going to get? And I know it's not about presents and whatnot, but anyways. So you get, so you pay the $20 and then you, you don't, you, you fill out your huge survey and they ask you like, they ask you so many questions and they give like styles that like edgy, preppy, um, boho chic and all all these type of categories and then you kind of choose from like a scale of five to one to five which one that you would you most identify with and then they show you like actual um types of clothing and then you kind of rate those and that's kind of how they get an idea of what you want they go into sizing coloring clothing uh body size not just uh they don't just go into don't just go into like what size pants you wear. It's like, do you wear shorts? Will you ever wear capris? Um, is your butt or your thighs bigger? Are you more pear shaped, more round shaped? All that stuff. So they definitely get an idea of what you are as a whole woman. So, um, so you pay the $20 and then they send you these things in the mail that they have custom selected for you. I'm sure it's a lot of repeats that I'm sure what I got today is the same thing that other people have gotten in the in the past or the, for this month as well um and then they and then they give you the prices and then whatever you don't want to keep you send back and they send you you know a pre uh prepaid type of envelope so it makes it very easy to return and i don't know but i might just plop this in my mail and see if the mail man will take it excuse me because it is it is USPS <laughs> and it is paid so that's the next thing so the $20 that you pay goes toward anything that you want to keep in the box and I'm not sure about this but if you get your box and don't like anything I don't know if you lose that $20 or if or if it goes into a credit I'm, I'm just not really sure about that don't know much about that so all right we're gonna go ahead and get into the box I did cheat a little bit and I looked and saw what I got um online and I was pleasantly surprised when I opened the box how well things were tailored to my personal taste in clothing I thought it was just so like whoa um not a whole lot of color was in my box and that's kind of funny because I used to be really, really bad about sticking to grays, blacks, navies, all those kind of neutral colors. I really have branched out and tried to do more colors just because it's it's fun, but it doesn't always necessarily go with everything. So um, I did get a lot of it neutral gray colors, which is great because gray for me is like the new black. I love gray. Love it. 
gray all the way, baby. That's what I say. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what's in the box. I did try on everything already and had some problem with sizing. I typically, for pants, I go for a petite. And I think when I filled out my survey, I put petite down there. I'm 5'3", 5'4". I'm going to go back and forth, you know. Um, and all the shirts were like cropped tops on me. And I can't, yeah. I can't do a crop top. No, it's not going to happen. No crop tops for me. So, um, but I am planning on keeping some of the things in here. So, I'm excited. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you um, the thing that I, I didn't like at all. I'm not going to wear it. It definitely comes in a cutesy little box that I ripped open. And um, the first thing is an envelope. And it says, your stylist thought these would look great on you. And that's, that's the fun thing about this. It's like hand-chosen clothes for you. It's different from Birchbox, where Birchbox just kind of, maybe will select one or two things that you like. I know because my best friend and I, we get different things in the mail. Like I get like these bright, vibrant lipsticks and she might get something different. Um, but that's a, that's a kind of the fun thing on here. So I'm not going to read all the stuff that it talks about. It does have a pretty card and it says, oh, let me see here. It says, try on all your goodies, pair with them with your favorite items and accessories in your closet. So, um, and then they do on their website, they send you the email and then they have like that month's like pairing what they do and they show different ways that you can wear it, how to dress it up, dress it down, which is nice. Um, and then, and then number two is decide what you're keeping and what's going back. So you have three days to decide. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize that. So I got to get going. Which items you'll keep and which items will return. It says keeping all five, great. Just skip the checkout. Place any items you are going to return in the enclosed prepaid shipping bag. Drop the bag in any USPS mailbox or collection site within three business days. Oh my gosh, I got to hurry. Um, and then it says to check out online. Head over to Stitch Face and complete your return survey. So you take a survey and it shows like what um, what was too small, too big, what you're returning, and then comments about it. And I'll have to put specific comments in there as well. And then I and then I think I also saw on there that if you decided to keep all five things within your Stitch Fix box, you got. 10% off. I don't know if it's 10 or 15 or 25. One of those. But um, so you do get perks for if you want to keep all five. I will say that I cheated and looked before and looked at the prices and stuff is more expensive than what I'm used to paying. Um, right now my go-to places for shopping consist of Target. I will pay full price at Target for things. I will also buy stuff online. Um, and then my go other go-to places include H&M and Forever 21. I will pay full price for those too. But then I also shop a lot at New York and Company and Express. But I will never, ever, ever pay full price for anything there. I always wait until they have end of season sale, 40% off, any of those big type of deals. So, um, so some of the stuff in here was out of the price range of what I'm kind of used to paying for stuff. But um, I am deciding to keep one item and I'll kind of share with you why I'm keeping that. Oh my gosh, I just opened it. So everything in my box totaled to $205.50. So, and that's minus, okay, and that's, okay, sorry. Everything in my box totaled to $294. So you're getting five pieces of clothing for about $300. And that's, that's a lot for me. Um, and then if you minus the styling fee, which is the $20 that you paid, and minus the discount, you get $205.50. It's $205.50. Okay, and it's 25% discount. And it does say right on here, don't lose your $20 styling fee. It's credit towards this fix. So if you don't purchase anything from your styling box, you lose that $20 credit, which is which is kind of sad, which kind of forces you to buy things. Um, when I first opened my box before trying anything on, I was really torn on what I was going to keep. I know that I couldn't afford to keep everything, but um, I tried it on and had a lot of trouble with some of the, the way that they fit me. So 
Okay, and then they do show you like the different ways that you can pair the items that you got, which is nice. They show um, two different styles to wear things. Yeah, basically how to dress it up and how to dress it down. Ooh, this is fun. That's really fun. And then the only thing that I thought was kind of weird, the necklace or the accessory that was sent to me, I did choose to have like big bulky type of things didn't really match with anything and I don't think I would pair it with anything that I got so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I got in my box and so I'm gonna scooch back here be a little person so the first thing I got and it's a really pretty color and it's inside out because I never turn anything out when I try it on and um it's just not my style of cut it's a v-neck first of all I have a hard time with v-necks because I'm yeah that because of that and it's also very short. When I tend to purchase like tops like this, I like them longer. I just like them longer. And this was very short. And I think that's the problem with most of the stuff that I got today was that it was geared towards a petite top. And I'm definitely not a petite top. Um, and I try and go for stuff that is bigger because I have to kind of you know plan for this region right here and stuff that may not even be a petite might be shorter on me just because it's kind of tight around this area so um I did not like this at all I don't think I would ever wear this even if it did fit me the right way so that that is definitely going back the next thing I guess this is a I would definitely wear this if it fit me right and it's just this high low type of sweater gray which I love and you can see right here that it's kind of the high and low type of trend it's definitely very big it's very wide but then it is very short and so it didn't fit me well that way and then the arms I don't know what it was about my arms but I you know I would lift my arms and the whole backside would just kind of come up so it doesn't have a lot of I don't know and it's from love appeal Love Appeal? Love Appel? I don't know. One of those. And um, so I think this sweater was $68. Ooh, no. This was $58. No. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that blue shirt that I just showed you was $68. I would never pay $68 for a shirt like that. Ugh. Mixed knit shirt. Oh, okay, so this was $58. This sweater right here so I do like it it just didn't fit the best and, and then it's sheer right here so you'd have to wear something under it as well the next item I am so sad that it did not fit me well because I definitely would have kept this item if it had fit me better and this is awesome this is like so what I would wear what I would choose and what I would wear it's a gray sweater and but then it has kind of the chevron and this type of pattern makes bigger girls like me look a lot skinnier just because it has everything kind of going in. Um, but this is just a beautiful sweater. Once again, it is too short for my body type. But um, try and get a close up here. It just has this detailing right here that is just awesome. And um, you can see it goes all around the backside there. And then it kind of has the inside out type of... Um, seam effect there on the arms and on the sleeves but I love this and it's sad that I have to return this because this is probably my favorite thing within the box I really love this this is from I'm gonna, Renee C and this is called the Brantley Stripe v-neck sweater and this is also $58 I definitely would have kept this for $58 I think this is an awesome sweater once again it was just way too short okay so the next thing and I thought I was going to keep this and I'm not going to now. This is the accessory that came. I kind of wish more accessories would have come because I'm definitely an accessory junkie and maybe I just need to subscribe to like a jewelry type of thing but um it's $42 for what looks to me like a cheap necklace and I'm not going to spend $42 on a cheap necklace, but this is what it looks like. And it looks really pretty and this is the size of it, but I don't know. And that's kind of what it looks like close up. It's just, it's a cheap chain. I don't know. It's just 
something that I would not splurge $42 on. I would rather buy like a J. Crew necklace or something like that for $42. But this is from Zad and it's the Leora beaded collar necklace and this retails for $42. It's pretty, I would pay maybe $10 for it, not $42. So, sorry. Okay, and my dog is now laying on the clothes. Get off, Amy. Abby, Abby, get off. You can't just be laying on piles of clothing. Okay, and I did not bring in the last thing. So the thing that I have decided to keep within the whole collection is the dress that they sent me. And within the survey, they tell you, you know, do you wear dresses? Do you wear skirts? And you can answer yes or no or how often you wear them. Um, I don't wear dresses to work a lot just because I'm working with little kids. And sometimes that's not the best, especially when you have a classroom full of boys. Um, so I don't wear dresses there, but I will wear dresses out and I will wear dresses. Oh, you know what? I have a baby shower tomorrow and I'll probably wear this dress for that. Um, is it Friday? Yeah, it's Friday. So tomorrow's Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I will wear it for that reason. And, um, yeah. Ooh, I'm excited now. Um, so I can go ahead and show you here. It's just a very pretty black and white. It has a very fine striped detailing on it. It's cap sleeve. But it's just a really pretty type of like skater flare dress. The material, I don't know what type of material this is. But um, it fits very well. It has a very modest um, hemline and um, not too keen on sleeveless. But I'm trying to get over my arm folk. I hate the way my arms look in sleeveless type of things. But I'm trying to get over that. I wore a lot of sleeveless last year and I'm hoping to do to not think about it but um yeah I really love this dress I don't think I would have paid $68 for it but um it's just one of those timeless pieces that you can wear over and over and over again and I'll show you here what they kind of have they have it here paired for like a daytime look with a jean jacket some orange flats and then over here they've uh really dressed it up with some heel so I like that a lot about this dress I am very excited about this I saw it in a couple different colors I saw it in like a teal color and I probably would have preferred the teal color more but this is definitely more versatile I can you know pair this with any color in the rainbow and it would be good so I'm excited about this dress and I will be keeping this so I'll be paying about $50 for it, so not too happy about that, and neither will my husband, but I don't want to lose that $20 styling credit, though, either. So, overall, Stitch Fix, it's a little out of my price range at this point. If I was making a lot more money or could splurge on these type of things, or if I limited to my, my spending to just, like, Stitch Fix, I think it would be a really awesome type of deal it's very exciting getting something in the mail every month or so so that makes me happy to ooh, what am I gonna get this month and it's kind of the surprise element that you kind of get with Birchbox as well so I like that about it and I really like how everything in the box mainly was like totally up my alley as far as clothing goes and I am picky 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 about clothes um having like a bigger body type I you know, you worry about those things and are you going to get things that a very s smaller woman would be able to wear better. So I worry about stuff like that. But this box was actually really awesome. I liked everything in the box except for the blue shirt. But I just wish that some of the tops were a little bit longer um, because they were kind of more of a petite type of style. But um, when I do my survey here in a little bit, I will put on there that most of the tops were too small. It was as if they were kind of a petite size. And um, in, hopefully, you know, they'll take that into account if I ever want to do a Stitch Fix box again. But um, I'm excited that I got something out of the whole mix. And um, But I don't think at this time that I will be uh, renewing my subscription. Excuse me. Unfortunately, I will not be renewing my subscription at this time. You know, maybe somewhere down the road. I, I can do it again. I think it's a really awesome concept. Um, and I have... The, uh, one, one, one of the things that I didn't really like about it is I couldn't find anything online to where they had... 
or on their website showing what they had kind of given in the past but you know going to a couple different blogs I did find that a one woman got like miss me they do have some of those you know type of in style now type of things but I liked everything I liked almost everything in my box so I was really happy about that but um you know it's just it's just a very expensive type of thing and if you were to keep all all products or if you got you know if you got kind of scandaled with the whole three-day thing that might be not very fun if I had waited like mm, I buy a lot of thing, a lot of clothing online, and uh, you know when I get it on the, in the mail, I don't necessarily try it on like right away. Um, so if I would have waited, I would have been you know in the whole three hundred dollars here. So I'm glad that I didn't wait to do that. But um, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed my review of Stitch Fix in my first box. Um, as always, make sure you subscribe, give me a thumbs up, let me know in the comments below if you have ever tried Stitch Fix, what your thoughts were about it, or if you have a blog page about your uh, review of Stitch Fix, I would love to read it, and I guess I will see you guys in the next video. Also, I am doing a giveaway. Make sure that you guys watch my prom drugstore tutorial using the NYX palette and sex bomb. This is the look that I'm going to be doing for that. I am also doing a giveaway where I give away that and a number of other products. So make sure you check that out. As always, please subscribe. And I guess I will just see you guys in the next video. Bye.